Good morning. Welcome to Our Lady of Peace. Our entrance hymn, along with our other hymns and responses, can be found in your worship aid. Please stand for the entrance procession. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With you, Brothers and sisters, boys and girls, today we celebrate the memorial of Blessed Marie Rose de Rocher, who was devoted to teaching uh, and starting schools uh, for students in Canada about 150 years ago. She's founded an order called the, Hol the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary. So we ask for her prayers today for our own school, for our own teachers, and for our own students. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, who enkindled in the heart of Blessed Marie Rose de Rocher the flame of ardent charity and a great desire to cooperate in the mission of the Church as a teacher, grant us that same active love, so that in responding to the needs of the world today, we may lead our brothers and sisters to the blessedness of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated now for the readings from the Word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The followers of Jesus all felt the same way about everything. None of them claimed that their belongings were their own, and they shared everything they had with each other. In a powerful way, the apostles told everyone that the Lord Jesus was now alive. God greatly blessed his followers, and no one went in need of anything. Everyone who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money to the apostles. Then they would give the money to anyone who needed it. The word of the Lord.
Please stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Whoever is greatest among you will serve the rest. All who humble themselves shall be exalted. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, My little group of disciples, Don't be afraid. Your father wants to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give the money to the poor. Make yourselves money bags that never wear out. Make your treasure safe in heaven, where thieves cannot steal it and moths cannot destroy it. Your heart will always be where your treasure is. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I know we've got some big readers in our school, some who have even read hundreds of thousands or even millions of words. So who here has a favorite character from a book that you've read? Raise your hand if you've got a favorite character, okay? Yeah, I had some favorite characters when I was your age. I really liked the Hardy Boys. I also really liked uh, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. I don't know if any of you have read Mrs. Piggle Wiggle books. Those are fantastic. Miss Frizzle, right? Uh, So we have these characters that we enjoy from various stories. And we know that some of them are fiction, right? Meaning that some of them weren't real people, as cool as it would be if Mrs. Frizzle was a real person, right? They're not real people, but they're someone that someone uh, imagined, right, and came up with, and they wrote stories about, okay? And so we know that even though they're really neat and we really enjoy them, they weren't uh, real people. And others were real people, right? So sometimes we read what we call nonfiction, right, which means they are real stories. But even then, if there are people that we, we read about, like, for instance, George Washington, right, or something like that, president maybe, uh, some other important figure, Harriet Tubman or someone like that. They're real people and we know that, but a lot of times they don't feel super close to us because they lived a long time ago, right? And so we have all these people and stories, but sometimes they don't feel very close to us even though we really enjoy reading about them. And I think sometimes we can get into the habit of thinking that about the stories we hear from the readings of the Word of God, right? Sometimes we we get the sense that they feel like they're things that happened a long time ago, and they were, right? Uh, And that the people in them, either sometimes we think maybe they don't feel very real, or they're just, like I said, a long time ago. But there's something interesting in the first reading that Davis read today, and it said that the apostles said in a powerful way to everyone who would listen that Jesus was alive, right? So we hear these stories about Jesus, and what we have to remember is what the apostles told everybody then, and it's still true now. Even though the stories we hear in the readings and in the gospel happened a long time ago, Jesus is alive. And he's not far off or long ago. He's alive and he's here with us now, right? 
That's always true, but it's especially true when we're here at Mass and Jesus comes to us in the Eucharist. And this is how the saints, because we'll talk lots about the saints this year, both here at church and also in your, in your classrooms in religion class, right? And maybe you've talked about some of them already. We have Marie Rose de Rocher today. That's how they were able to do all the things that they did, right? Blessed Marie Rose didn't feel like she was, uh, had the skills that she needed to start a group of nuns who would teach but she was able to do it and to start schools because the Lord Jesus is alive and he was with her just as he is with us. And so we ask today that we might remember that the Lord Jesus is alive and that he is with us and that he strengthens us to do the things that he asks us to do. Please stand. Trusting in the Lord God, who is with us and who is alive, let us bring our prayers and our needs to the Lord God. For your church, may all members share generously with people in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may they remember their duty to serve their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to violence in our community and the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an, for an increase in those called to religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may have eternal life with Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you indeed are alive and you are with us. Hear these prayers which we have brought before you today and answer them, for we make them with trust and confidence through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar and as the gifts are brought forward.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways, and through the example of Blessed Marie Rose, be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, Andrew his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. To waver and odd, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Please kneel. Thank you. Yep, exactly. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of Blessed Marie Rose, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple of reminders. As always, once Mass is over uh, and we're done with using our worship aids, you can bring them back to where you got them as you leave. So that's at the end of Mass, right? And also at the end of Mass, not right now, if you could take the post-it note from the back of your pew and bring it with you uh, and recycle that too, that would be great. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen.